Do you think God is pro-life? Uh, I think that it's in God's order, and he is definitely pro-life. Yeah. Uh, yes. He, uh, uh, what, what would you say to a woman who says, hey, it's my body. Don't tell me what to do with my body. This is kind of ridiculous. Your religion doesn't mean anything to me. It's a bunch of fairy tales. It's probably made up by a bunch of men 2,000 years ago. Don't use that bullshit to tell me what I can do with my body. What would you tell those women? Uh, I would... I could speak to my ex-wife, and for a reason, she's my ex-wife. Well said. Well said. Perhaps his ex-wife is the only woman he's ever spoken to, which definitely would explain a lot. A woman's right to choose. Is that important to you? Yes. Donald Trump doesn't believe in a woman's right to choose. Okay, but there are certain cases where I believe that a woman should be able to choose, but there are also certain cases where, you know, that is a child inside of a woman's body. Um, so I'm stand for both, but, you know, it's... So Governor Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, who's running for the Republican nomination, um, says there should be no abortions after six weeks. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I agree with that. So a woman should not have the right to get an abortion uh, if she's seven, eight weeks pregnant. She may not even know she's pregnant at that point. Um, I mean, I believe that most likely she will know at that point. But if she doesn't, of course, you know, she that baby has been growing inside of her for six weeks. So it's, you know, you'd be, be killing someone if you abortion. It doesn't have a heartbeat though until longer so it's not like it's killing a person right? I still believe that it's ki killing a person because that is still a human being inside. That, no, doesn't matter if they have a heartbeat or anything there's still fetus growing inside of someone and that mom is still going through many symptoms and you know her trimester symptoms um, to you know carry that baby whether they have a heartbeat or not. What about once a child is born, since you believe very strongly in life, you believe in protecting life once a child is born? What was that? Once a child is born, should our society, should our government do more to protect kids after they're born? Um, or should a child or a baby be totally on its own with their family and no government help? I mean, it depends on the, cir on the circumstance. Um, again, you know, it's if a you know, if a parent decides that they become a parent, they should be responsible for taking care of that child. Of course, there are certain circumstances where, you know, um, teen moms, um, you know, single parent, fam single, single, yeah, single parent families um, who, you know, I believe that they could use some assistance, but for the most part, you know, it's like they're choosing to become parents um, and they should. But it's not the child's fault if they're born to a parent who can't take care of that child or can't feed that child, it's not the child's fault, right? So shouldn't our government at that point step in and try to help? Um, yes and no. It always blows me away how much mental gymnastics Trump supporters have to do to fit in with MAGA. You know, just like uh, Republican politicians who are always worried that Trump's watching. Maybe his base feels the same way. Maybe they feel like Trump is always watching and he just might come to get you. We have Jamie Raskin in there accusing us of worshiping Trump, worshiping as a convicted felon. He is a convicted well, felon. Well, yes, yeah, so is George Floyd. And everybody, and you all too, the media worship George Floyd. Democrats worship George Floyd. There were riots burning down the country over George Floyd, and Raskin is in there saying we worship him. Excuse me, let me correct you, and this is really important. I don't worship, I worship God. God. And Jesus is my savior. I don't worship President Trump. And I'm really sick and tired of the bull annex I have to deal with constantly. And then watching Marjorie Taylor Greene say that Democrats and people on the left worship George Floyd the same way that Republicans and MAGA worships Donald Trump is completely incorrect. It's, it's just not a real equivalence because George Floyd, people were upset about the way he was treated by the police and ultimately lost his life because of it. That's what that was about. It was about standing up for racial disparities in the country. It wasn't about putting him in office and putting him on the throne, which is pretty much what MAGA wants. They just want Trump in there because he's anti-establishment, even though he's not anti-establishment at all. He's for the little guy, even though he's not for the little guy whatsoever. 
It's a cult through and through, and we know this.